What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. I'm feeling good today. You feeling good today? I guess I'll have to wait to see the comments. Up until just a few years ago, I've always been a very shy and introverted person, and I still am to some extent today. And that's why I wanna show you a few quick things that have allowed me to be very charismatic despite suffering from this social anxiety. Number one, you need to re-engage. Let me know if this sounds familiar. So you're heading over to a party or a pregame. You walk in the door, you say what's up to your buddy that you know there. He introduces you to some guys and some girls that you don't know. You feel good and then a few minutes pass and you start to notice that everyone is kind of talking to each other. There's three girls talking to each other over there. Your buddies are talking to these girls over there and it feels like you're becoming an outsider. You don't know who to talk to. You don't know what to say. And you're just starting to feel super fucking awkward. This shit used to happen to me all the time, man. And I would just mentally accept defeat. I'd tell myself, we're taking an L tonight. And I would be miserable the rest of the night. Doesn't matter if I had a chance to talk to a cute girl. I wouldn't want to do it. I wouldn't even have fun with my friends. So here's what you need to do. The second that you catch yourself slipping and feeling like Mr. Solo Dolo with no friends, you need to re-engage. So look around the room and identify the least threatening social opportunity. You know, maybe there's a bro sitting in the other corner of the room who's probably feeling the same way as you. That's gonna be easy and low risk. You just need to go over there and say, you know, cheers, man, how's your night going? After I take this little step, I force myself out of that negative thought pattern. And even if the conversation only lasts like 30 seconds, I'll do another conversation after that and another one. And before you know it, I have this social momentum building inside of me and I feel like I can talk to anybody in the room with that natural charisma that all of us have deep down inside of us. I don't want no problem, I want checks. I don't want the second, I want best. I'm all in my ass, way, I'm all right. See what I'm wearing right here? This is a hoodie. This means that it's hoodie season. It's a little bit colder outside now, so you get to bundle up and wear a big comfy hoodie, which is awesome. But you wanna be careful here because a lot of guys take this too far and they look like complete slobs. So you wanna make sure that the pants you're wearing, whether it's jeans or joggers, they should still be nice and fitted. And something else that's easy to do and that makes your outfit look a lot more complete is throwing on a dope watch. The watch I'm wearing right now is from my favorite watch company, Vincero, and it's their new Kairos mesh wash in this black on black color. It's matte black, and it's just so simple and sleek looking, so it's easy to pair with basically any outfit. And the amazing thing about Vincero is that all of their watches are made from top of the line materials. Like this is made from surgical grade stainless steel. The face is a sapphire coated crystal that is fully scratch resistant. And normally a watch that's this level of quality would cost you upwards of a thousand dollars but because vincero sells directly to the consumer they're actually able to offer these at a super affordable price and because vincero is sponsoring the video today they actually hooked us up with a secret coupon code you can use to get an amazing deal on any of their watches just click that first link in description to see all of the different watches that i personally own on their website Not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today. I know I said I felt great at the beginning of the video, but I was like, I was trying to convince myself to feel great. We're not skipping the gym though. What we are gonna do is we're gonna avoid benching or squatting super heavy today. I just don't think I would do that well. And instead we're just gonna do like a hypertrophy day to try and get some more volume for all of my body parts so we can keep growing. I have not done weighted pull-ups since I was like 175 pounds. I'm 197 now, way harder, still got it done.
Number two, you have to share the spotlight. So whenever my girlfriend Julia meets one of my friends, I pay attention to how she responds because like, I want her to like my buddies. And a couple years ago, she was meeting my friend Ryan and he asked her, what do you do? She told him, I'm finishing up my master's in social work. And the way that he replied is super interesting. He said, wow, that's amazing. We really need more good people like you to be social workers. Now in this situation, most people would probably ask a follow-up question like, what do you wanna do after you graduate? Or they'd relate it back to themselves and say, oh, that's cool, my cousin's a social worker too. But what Ryan did here is he shined the spotlight on Julia and he made her feel super important. And ever since then, she's absolutely loved him. She thinks he's the most cool, charismatic guy. So I hope you're watching, bro. Anyway, this interaction made me realize that this is actually a super powerful hack. Partly because of the effect it has on the other person, but partly because it forces you to get out of your own head. Like, normally when you meet someone new, you're worried, what do they think about me? How can I make myself look cooler? And these things, these thoughts force you to get stuck in your head, they give you anxiety, and they fuck up your vibe. All right, so here's the best way to implement this. Whenever you meet somebody new, start asking yourself, what is a unique compliment I can give them? It should never be something generic like, wow, you're so pretty, or wow, I really like your sense of style, because that does not come off as genuine, it's just corny. So you know, maybe do what Ryan did and tell them why their job is important, or if you really do like their style, then pick out something specific. Damn, bro, that is a dope ass watch. Where do you get that? That's how you share the spotlight, and that is what's gonna make other people drawn to your presence. Want that crumble, better know you need a check for me. Can pay the play, the sun still won't get a cent from me. I mix the fit up with the salad, like kiss a remedy. I mix it up inside a pot. Watch it drip while it drop, drop, drop. Time to take it to the top. So I'm not even gonna front like I'm trying to eat healthy right now. I got Panda Express, honey sesame chicken, Kung Pao chicken, fried rice. I used to eat Panda Express like every day in college. But you, you don't like Panda? I don't trust it. Yo, give this video a thumbs up if you like Panda. Give this video a thumbs up if you like Chick-fil-A. Everybody gonna give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> this new honey sesame chicken is a solid 8.5 out of 10. There's actual real white meat in there. Is there normally not? Normally it's like, maybe it's white meat, maybe not. Maybe it's dog, maybe it's chicken. <laughs> We just checked out Zombieland 2. What did you think? I really liked the first one and I actually thought the second one was just as good. So I think I'd give it like a 8.5 out of 10. I'm going nine out of 10. Ooh. Woody Harrelson's always hilarious, but like it, was, it was such a, I was laughing out loud, like probably 50% of the movie and I rarely laugh out loud like in the theater. Yeah, I thought it was really good. All right guys, number three, the CEO mindset. So you know how they say you should treat the janitor the same way you treat the CEO? Not only is this just a good way to live life, but it's also gonna make you more charismatic. And the way that you implement this is super simple. You just tell yourself, it doesn't matter who I'm talking to, I'm gonna treat them with full respect, I'm not gonna put them down, I'm gonna try and share the spotlight with them and make them feel important. And if you're doing this with somebody who's a few steps behind where you are right now, in terms of success or status, this is gonna be very empowering for them. They're gonna like you a lot more, but it's also very powerful when you're doing it with people who might normally make you nervous. So let's say that you're talking to your boss or that popular dude or that girl that you have a crush on. Normally in these situations, we have a bad tendency to suck up to these people. We laugh at all their jokes, we're afraid to give them shit, and basically we do all those things that would normally get you stuck in the friend zone. But when you adopt the CEO mindset that I'm telling you about, now before you talk to one of these people, you tell yourself, I'm gonna talk to them man to man, I'm gonna talk to them like they're on my level, and if they say something stupid, I'm gonna give them shit about it. I'm still gonna be respectful, but I'm gonna talk to them like they're on my level, and this is gonna be super powerful because it's gonna set you apart from all those other dudes who are sucking up to them. And obviously this is something that takes practice, so my best advice is just to be aware, and if you catch yourself talking down to someone or talking up to someone in that suck up mode, just remind yourself and then be better about it going forward. 
that's all I got for this video, bros. I hope that you enjoyed it. I, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of forgot to film this last point last night, which is why I filmed it this morning. But if you made it to the end of this video, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe and turn notifications on because I release two new videos every single week. They're all dope as hell. I will talk to all of y'all in the next video. Stay beastly.